Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. Alien Propagation by Perry DeFury is receiving rave reviews. Many decades have been filled with stories about UFOs, the possibility of aliens, but all explanations are dubious until now. Jack is a leading architect in a firm in Houston. He has a wife that every man desires, and he must continually worry about losing her. Going through one of the rough spots, he takes his beautiful lady on a short vacation to smooth things out between them. He's in the experience of a lifetime that teaches him firsthand how aliens can propagate the earth. Perry is a decorated Vietnam veteran who has always been interested in science. He was a junior high school principal in a foreign country for 20 years. During that time, founded a scientific society for the development of young scientists, taking them on various expeditions in Mexico. Perry has been on various expeditions with scientists from Argentina, France, Italy, Germany, and Mexico. Retired, he now dedicates his time to writing his novels. He was born and raised in Allentown, Pennsylvania, now resides and writes in Spring, Texas, where he is close to his children and grandchildren. Also the author of The Black Tide and Menace from the Deep, books that we've discussed on This Week in America. Back with us on the program, Perry DeFury, author of Alien Propagation. Perry, a pleasure to have you back on the program. Thank you for joining us once again. Thank you. Good to see you again, Rick. It is always a pleasure. I love how your mind works. You tell great stories, and uh, alien propagation is, is one that uh, that's amazing. Just in reading it, I think people will want to rush out and get a copy. We'll tell you where you pick up a copy as we go through the program. But when you went back and started writing, what was the inspiration for writing your first book? Actually, it was uh, the fact that I found that I could take a plain piece of white paper and a pen and with only my mind and as and my mind as the other tool I could create just by throwing words on a piece of paper a life a story that would entertain and make people cry laugh rejoice and I just wanted to share that with as many people as I could. Well, you have done such a wonderful job with all of the books. I mentioned the other two that we've talked about. I'll give you the information on those as, as we're talking today. Uh, this novel, Alien Propagation, all of the, the books that you write are remarkable stories, and they get you thinking as well. Is there a message in your novel that you want readers to, to take away, to grasp as they're reading? Actually, there is. There have been many books of this nature written in the past, which have been fantasy. I have studied the sciences all my life, and there are forms of life different than ours in, in the universe. Even here in our own planet, we have species that survive on totally different chemical compositions. This book will make people think more seriously about the possibility of the propagation of species. Uh, not only from, in, from aliens from another planet, but in ourselves, uh, possibly propagating other planets. The book is Alien Propagation by Perry DeFury. That's D-E-F-I-O-R-E. You'll find the book at uh, all the usual places. Send you to stratton-press.com, Amazon, all of the places. You only come by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You talk about something that's interesting there. As I'm, as I'm reading this story, how much of the book is realistic? Actually, most of it. All my books are based on scientific studies and real-life experiences. Uh, the fiction is the, the characters I, I create and the uh, parts that I can't really prove, like there's so much there is in the universe that we, we can guess about it, but we can use our knowledge to uh, estimate how things would be, but we have no real proof as of yet, even the greatest physicists. So uh, I get as close as I can using the scientific knowledge that I have collected. 
and collected over the years and then the expeditions. I wish I was one of your students that would be able to go on those expeditions. That had to be a wealth of information. I'm sure still source material as you're writing, writing books to be in the field and to experience all of this has to be a great asset, asset for a writer. Oh, it very, very definitely helps you in, in the discipline that you have to have to be on a scientific expedition is, is a great help for a writer, but because we need to have great discipline to write. In the book, Alien Propagation, are the experiences there based on someone you know, maybe events in your life, or maybe a combination of, of actual circumstances and, and fiction? Well, it, it really is uh, based on the, the studies that I have made on astrophysics and cosmology. Uh, and the rest is, is just life here on Earth. So really, there's a, is, there's a lot of uh, um, estimations of, based on the knowledge that I have collected, more so than experience. I mentioned the uh, the other books we talked about, The Black Tide and Menace from the Deep. Those books are uh, available as well as the new uh, the new one we're talking about, Alien Propagation. What are you working on now? I, with your mind and all of the ideas you have, I'm sure you've got things that you're working on. Actually, I just finished my sixth book of the Ralph Mullen Adventure series uh, that's called The Black Widow. Uh, that I just sent it to the publisher yesterday, so he's all excited. He already called me, uh, so that that will be the the newest one that comes out. And naturally, I have three more to go on that particular series, and then I'm going to start a new series that's uh, that's more of uh, I guess you could say it's in a, a a realistic type of Star Trek type of thing about the time when our sun is going to come to the end of its uh, lifestyle, life cycle. You got my attention with that. There's so many things that you are working on. And I want to come back and talk about characters and developing stories, uh, Ralph uh, Mullen, that, that you talked about. But uh, what's the hardest part in, in writing these books as you're talking about all the, the research and developing stories and characters, what's, what's, the, what's the most challenging part for you? Well, the first draft is the most fun. I can create all day long. Oh, yes. But then comes the rewrite and editing. Now, that's the work. Not the spelling. It's the, the computer does that. But grammar, following the Chicago manual of style, the continuity, the ambiguity, these areas with so many characters and subplots, they become quite complex. So uh, I'm constantly creating new characters. I'm going to have 30, 40 characters in a book. And I have to create each one, and I have to record everything. And, I, and so I don't mix them up <laughs> as I go along. Yes. And they have to maintain <laughs> their their personalities as I go through the book. That's the most difficult part of the books, to, to have that discipline. Well, I would think that would be a real challenge with all of the characters and maintaining who those characters are. And you mentioned that's, that's difficult. Do you, you find sometimes I need to go back and rewrite this a little bit because that's not really who that character is. I mean, trying to juggle 34 people would have to be a, a monumental undertaking. <laughs> It gets quite, uh, yes. quite hairy at times. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned the, the, the characters. Talk about that, developing characters, and continue the, the stories like you're doing with, with Ralph in that series. What's, what's that like? I would almost think they become a family member after a while. They are so much in your mind as, as, after you develop these. Yeah, and actually it's like being part of a family. Uh, yeah, because like that. Like I just finished the, the sixth one, and it, it's it, you really get to know the characters as if it was in your own family. Uh, after all this time of, of writing about them, uh, and that's that helps a lot because of uh, 
going over the same characters and what they're going to be doing in the next book and uh, these types of, of adventures that they go on. Uh, and, and, of course, pretty soon I'm, I'm going to have to start a new family with, with a new series. Then, okay, But I still have three more in this one to enjoy the, the family I have with Ralph Mullen. <laughs> well, how difficult is that going to be to be to leave Ralph behind and that family behind? I would think when you get to that point where you move on, boy, that's got to be difficult. It, it takes a little adjustment to separate yourself, but uh, I found that when, like, all my books are not just the Ralph Mullen adventures. I have yes. the Indian Propagation is not one of the Ralph Mullen adventures, and Escape from Progress is out now, and that's not one either. Uh, but I, I find that once I begin uh, on a certain uh, uh, line of, of writing, uh, it's not that hard uh, to get away from that, and, and uh, the, the hard part is trying not to bring the past characters or characters from another book into the new one or to confuse the, the personalities, to not duplicate the same kind of personalities, because every person has their own personality in life, so we may have similarities. But we're, we don't have identical personalities, so we have to uh, keep on creating the new ones. And I get those personalities from real life. I, I meet people and I, I, I find their personality interesting. Uh, so I, I record it when I get home, those characteristics of that person. And that's how I, I find my new characters in another book. A people watcher, I love that. There's so much if we just look around us and absorb as we're out in the public, you know, what we see, the circumstances, the people, the characteristics, all of that. Perry DeFury is our guest uh, once again on the program. And uh, DeFury is D-E-F-I-O-R-E. So if you Google that, you'll find uh, all of the books, Alien Propagation, the book we're talking about, the new one we're talking about specifically on the program today. I want to go back and touch on that. Where this... Uh, where this idea came from uh, for this book, because it is a unique look at uh, it's something that that we're all vaguely at least familiar with. Where did the where did the idea come from that you developed for alien propagation? Before I answer that, just a quick uh, quick addition here. Yeah, on my website is www.perryrights.com. And people can go on to that and, and get the whole list of oh, fantastic. Books. Uh, the uh, books come from my biggest passion in the sciences has always been astrophysics. I, I have even written my own universal theory. I apply my knowledge of the universe and the creation of the alien propagation. I see no reason that there cannot be life in the universe. A life as we know it will not exist forever on our planet. Our sun has its life cycle, and it will come to an end just like we do. So there are hundreds of billions of stars, even more planets. Surely there will be other planets suitable for life forms. Our universe is young and vast and getting larger in area. There are more places for us to continue our species. This book is Alien Propagation. Perry DeFury is our guest on the program, the book available wherever books are sold. I want to make sure I have the, the website. We'll, uh, we'll put this on the information on, on our website, perrywrites.com. I have that correct? Right. And get all the information there. I was trying to find a place where they could get everything on all of the books and could check for future books, and that's the obviously the, the place to do that. Very simple, perrywrites.com. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, you've touched on what you're working on in, in the future. Can you say any more about that? Or it sounds like something is real close. The new uh, Ralph Mullen book should be out soon, it sounds like. Uh, the newest one uh, that I just finished, yes, the Black Widow will be out. And there's three more coming. Uh, but I am already starting to, uh, to formulate and, and gather the research on the next uh, series of books 
that I'm going to write that involves more more the universe than than the Earth itself. So uh, it 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 becomes very interesting. But the the new series will have uh, or like all books it has a lot of research in it. There's uh, whatever I write is going to have a lot of uh, factual. Uh, Evidence in yes. scientifically, so that's that's uh, where I'm going in the direction I'm going at at the moment. You know, it's interesting because when you read one of Perry's books, you can tell by the science background, the educational background, that what you're reading is not they're totally fabricated like so many stories. It's like, okay, that's a great story, but that can never happen. Well, your background really, again, I mentioned this before, but it comes into play, doesn't it? That uh, that old scientist there, it's got you inquisitive and, and it wants you to uh, to come up with the facts and, and make it something that's uh, that's reasonably uh, could possibly happen. Now, I've, I've been in, in, uh, in adamant about sciences ever since I was young, a uh, child. Uh, and I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped with curiosity. I want to know what makes things tick. Uh, so uh, there's so much. I always have one expression. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. <laughs> exactly. And it's just. Uh, over and over, uh, I prove it to myself, the, the validity of that expression, because the more I learn, the more I accumulate knowledge, the more I realize how little we actually know about science. And it's in a, a fantastic field. It's always very interesting. It just doesn't get boring to me. No, and it's interesting that with all of your background, you continue to be excited about about science, about discovery, and 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 writing about it. A couple minutes left in the program. You've made this transition from scientist, from teacher, educator, into a successful writer. Talk about advice you might want to share with uh, inspiring writers out there who are really trying to figure out how to get their, their career going and, and find that discipline, find those ideas. What would you say to uh, an aspiring writer? The first thing I would tell them is to write, write, and write some more. It doesn't matter how good your writing is in the beginning. It, you just need to write. The more they write, the better they will start writing. You don't learn how to dribble a basketball without many failures and lots of hours of practice. The writing is, is the same. That applies to anything you want to be good at. Welcome the criticisms. It will be, there will be many. But take them with a grain of salt because many times the ones who criticize know less than you. And I get the impression you're as excited about writing a book, sitting down, working on a book, developing a new book as you were when you started this process. This still is fun for you, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I enjoy creating the stories. And, and it's like I said, when I have a blank piece of paper and just throwing words on the paper, I am creating life, creating uh, different uh, personalities. It's really a lot of fun and entertaining for me to to write. So uh, I'll continue to do that until God calls my name. Well, and it's interesting, too. It has to be satisfying that when you share this with people, they get enjoyment out of reading the story. They read the story and get thinking about what you're talking about in that particular book. The, uh, the time always goes by so quickly when Perry is with us. This book is Alien Propagation by Perry DeFore, DeFury, D-E-F-I-O-R-E. The uh, the other two books we talked about, The Black Tide, Menace from the Deep, you'll find all of those at the usual places. And Perry's website is perrywrites.com. We'll have that up on our website as well. So you get all the information, stay up to date on, on what Perry is uh, is doing. Books are available, stratton-press.com, Amazon, and of course his, his own website. 
Perry, this is always fun. It sounds like uh, you've got a lot going on, so hopefully we can have you back and uh, and talk about it here. It's always fun having you on the program. Thank you for uh, sharing some time with us today. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. Perry DeFury is our guest on the program. If you're Googling, that's D-E-F-I-O-R-E. You'll find the books available at uh, Amazon, the usual places, and Perry's website, perrywrites.com. Of course, all of this on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.